And so when you see the Africans and the diasporans force them way into the space with these incredible innovations, you have to understand, imagine if we were given the same kind of access as the people who were being protected and promoted by those forces. Yeah? But yeah. what well, I love well, about... Africa, Africa, Africa was, like, for instance, I think two years ago, I met this company. I don't want to say what their name or whatever, because was, it was kind of confidential, the... the, the the settings where we did in you know, but there was this I was on this virtual forum where people was pitching technologies that they were looking for investment and there was this East African company that had a a technology that you could transfer value via a SIM card. You get me? With text message frequency and them type of thing with um uh SSD and them things. So it's like and then, and then I did check on them like two years later, like two years later now when I see, you know, <laughs> two years later now when yeah. I see the whole web treating and kick up, man, I say, yo, man, check in for them again. And then I heard that the technology was bought by one of the most powerful organizations in the earth. And, you know, I mean, I talk about government, world government organization, not even like a private thing. You get me? So you find, say, if if I could have buy that company, for instance, like if I if me and you could if me could have called Janine and say, Oh Janine, some great some great um youth from Nairobi develop this thing, you know. And they need a, they need two million dollars or they need five or ten, fifteen, a hundred million or whatever. Then we see we see where you now we wouldn't be able to you know take a shot at the ball game. You get me? But up until because up until <laughs> Popping against the whole popping again. Yeah. Jump web tree because this now is what gives me gives my heart so much joy, right? Because the things we have in development now and the conversations we're having now are going to shape what is possible in the future. Because right now, with the emergence of these um, decentralized autonomous organizations. We can set ourselves in place to be ready for those kinds of opportunities, to create those opportunities within, you know, ourselves and our own networks that are unprotected by the blockchain, yeah, but give everybody who is a part of that organization a stake in the organization without having to you know interact with governments, right, and go yes. through all of that paperwork. You create a, a DAO. And you know, are collecting funds together, making investments together, making decisions together in a way where there is 100% transparency. And we decide yeah. on the kind of we want to fund. And all of these things are not far fetched concepts. But what the blockchain provides is the transparency, and it provides us a bit of protection from some of these outside forces. So you can, we cannot go, and that is. I mean, that is why the blockchain is such a revolutionary concept. It's just, it no longer requires a person or a company. And this is why it is a terrifying thing to the system as well. Because those who come on here with good intentions to do good work can no longer be, you know, held back by the limitations of well, you need. First, we must, so, big up, we must big up man like Mike. You see me? A man like Jordan from Coindesk. The man they make sure say yo we have all of the web tree information first. The man they make sure say yo we we at least we at least have the same advantage as 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 every other youth in other earth as far as information is concerned, you know, um you know and 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 and, and Mike as well and and him whole him him whole entire rebuilding team and like all of them youth that who 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 literally why the Wi Fi kill the people? You chip it, they might cut me out, man. Pause, brother. We know what I miss. Cut, cut them, I cut me out. So <laughs> cut them, I cut out the rat. See, <laughs> <laughs> and for cut out yourself, sure, say, then it's not necessarily the best, but yeah, you know, but yeah, what may I say? Go ahead. 
big up to Jordan, man, over at CoinDesk, and big up to Mike from Reed Robinson yeah. and the whole, you know, my squad, as far as them and them, you know, them and the initiate, you know, the whole fintech concept of how the world has moved forward. And is is based on facts. It's based on, it's not based on, because, you know, whenever, as we say, whenever something drops, it creates some sense of, uh, it, 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 it creates some sense of excitement. You know, and like sometimes we have to work around that emotional uh, excitement to come to a place where you can actually, even though you're excited, we're not going to move because we're excited. We're not going to move off a of solid information of what's happening in these. Yeah, and how the spaces them are evolved. You get me? Um, so it moves, it's like where... missing out. So people feel like they need to move very quickly because it's evolving so fast like you know you're going to yes. not have the opportunity but this technology is not even in its infancy just it's, me. i mean just it's like how someone will just come from uh, instagram and just as you like say what it, we just you know yeah what it so. is now it is going to evolve so much beyond it and mm. it is the place of now that are going to shape it in the future so we Definitely. have to approach all of these tools without fear you know somebody said you know it can be used for good or bad if your intentions it can't be used for bad in my mind because if i'm using it i don't have any bad intentions toward it or i just sit it out yeah it has to well, be something that, yo what is your purpose <laughs> what is your purpose individual so don't just run you know because you want to find a way for getting on it if you don't have a valuable contribution to make and if you don't understand the platform, it don't even make sense to get involved. You know, don't just run up into a thing because it's trending and it's the style. Understand what is the value that I want to deliver and what is the value I want to receive. So these are the things that we have to think about when we're talking about that. Now, we understand the technology. I want to go into a different realm of the conversation now, my brother. As you sit there and steam your hair right mm. on this auspicious occasion that is 420 right and we know the yeah. most important happened on a 420 was his majesty's visit to the you know island of jamaica which is why yeah. 420 is so significant and so synchronous synchronous at us that yeah. were there <laughs> and it yeah. is like how do we how do we feel about herb and how herb is generally used because we know, especially from Jamaica, we know say there is an abusive tendency toward her. You know, when we are dealing with her, we a lot of the times we mix her up in all kind of things, and we we, we deal with our wicked constantly. Mm. We don't give her a break. <laughs> if rest, if a light spliff, I mean, bun chalice after bun chalice, while one chalice mm. is loading. The one mm. is finishing at the other end of the table. Oh. I want to hear about your relationship with the sacred feminine part of this plant. <laughs> uh, am I chipping out every minute still? Because I, I can't be saying these things and chipping out. Uh, you're comfortable. All right, you're fully chip out now. <laughs> You see, if, if Instagram to be a ballad in this room, I have to move the conversation over to Twitter, right? So, we're going to give them... Hold on, hold on, the mic for them. my headphone. Yeah. yeah, you can hear me better now. Vibes, yeah, you was making everyone move from the spot there. Eh? <laughs> Well, uh, no, we'll come on a different spot. Yeah, you hear me better? Yeah, definitely. Well, I'll park the chalice a little bit. See? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> serious thing. So, <laughs> basically, we use herb all the time. Every day. Mostly. <laughs> Get me? Uh, I did one break. In the last year, 
like one solid break. Usually when I break, it's just like, you know, you just not feel for night. You get me? Um, but I did one break where I was doing a water fasting for seven days. You see me? So I, I never have no help because I was just having water. You see me? And um, uh, my thing with herb is, you see, herb is, I don't know, I'm still learning it and 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 thing but i'm i'm fascinated with uh our jamaican herb you know like the the reason why i get into her was to, was to connect with that you get yeah it was to connect with like you know because i used to see her on tv with snoop dogg and uh them or oh, them on the type of herb was some like some different type of herb from what I used to see, you know, and then even moving True. forward and forward and forward, you realize that you have even some herb that we never did even used to see neither. Bro, it was from a time before, like, you know, um, burning spears and herb, you get me? So, uh, but yeah, that's the quest for me. So I go travel from St. Thomas to all over, try to see what I go on and link with people like uh, the great Marcel Emmanuel who traveled the length and breadth of the island to see what I go on and all over the world for that matter, you know. So we have ones like um, advanced ones like my, Dr. Marcel Emmanuel who, who I was happy to see him achieve that too as someone who could secure Equatorial strains and 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 and, and using knowledge for uh what you now and and someone who uses to knowledge to, uses knowledge and and his genuine and academic virtue. community because like them man they have a genuine academic community. Yeah. You know what I mean? He speaks Dr. Marshall Emmanuel from the University of the West Indies. The no, University Marshall of the West Indies, yeah. We're on campus at the same time. Marshall yeah, is like that, my, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that man, there's like, yeah, that man, they godfather for all of you, you know, even though we are the same, within the same age group and thing, that man, they're still so big like godfather. Oh, yeah, me, you know, in the age group, cause, yeah, because me, all right, me belong to a wider age group than some people. You must understand that. Where all right. If you, if you want, we're going at a rim then or where we can talk about the spirits that guide the ages because every age of a spirit you see me? is me. And I belong to I belong to a wider spirit group than most people. And knowledge of self is very frightening in a general. Because if when you don't, you don't want, have to talk age group you know the case. So right? what may I say? What now, may I say? This is what happens when you steam and you have a conversation, right? These are this is how it go. Chronic steam from morning and I know steam from morning. So you you know what I mean? No well, I belong to I belong to a wider age group, which means uh, I belong to the same I belong to the same age group as my mother. You see me as hard as that is what people believe. My I, mother my I mother agree. is fifty. My mother is fifty and I belong to you know. Yeah. But in at the same time, to Marshall, not much older, and probably like maybe fifteen years or something like that, you know. Which, you know, <laughs> well, well, you have brothers and sisters is... who fifteen years apart. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, what I want, what I want to title, because we know say you know not very special people, right? And Marshall is a part of the Charlie Station community. He's one of our partners. He has been one of our partners in Ganja for the past decade and um you will meet him when you will become a part of this chalice station community he is one of the people we will have access to as well as some other people throughout the world who have been doing this work as well yeah but what i want to know from you mr you know is what is your how did your relationship with herbs start what initiated you on this journey we understand now where you are on the journey but what initiated when did it start how did it start? What does it look like? Beyond how often you use it, how do you use it? What is the most frequent way that you use it? If you um, care to share. Yeah. Um, who gave your first chalice? 
All of these questions we want to know, though. Or well, it's just I, 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 I never smoke. Yeah, All I never like... get into smoking. No, I never get into smoking. So I don't really know about the smoking, to be honest. You get me? Um, and I, I feel like you, 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 I met you around the time when I just got into herb. Like, we say, yo, yo, let me see what this thing can do for someone. You get me? Because, you know, I know the things that, you know, people say and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I believe, say, so, yo. So, chronics didn't burn out herb. All we have one chronics never mind know herb thing. Right? No, I wasn't, no, I never <laughs> depend on the herb thing. No, I never depend on the herb thing in terms of, um, you know, it was really Kelly who first introduced me to herb. Like, we, we start use herb first time. We used to make tea and then blend it. Like, after we dry it, we blend it and drink it with the fiber and everything and just drive out. You get me? And then... <laughs> That was me, Kelly's on Infinite. The tree we used to hang out all you get me? And then, uh, yeah, and then from this and now, yeah, we start dealing with it just as tea. And then thing the first, which it did very strong. So it's like, after that, man, I say, yo, I need a way how I can get how it. this get going on my blood system, you get me? Because this thing lick you at any time. You get me? <laughs> So, me I say, yo, so right away, you know, we say, all right, make we start steam, you know, and um, we did have a little vape thing first, but it would have still burned the herb, and me I say, no, man, this feel like a smoking thing. So then now we get a steam chalice. I don't know how me get my first steam chalice to be honest. You see me? But my, my can't, it wasn't mine, of course, it couldn't, couldn't have been my steam chalice. I can't remember what my first chalice was, you get me? Because I have so much chalice over time, like Wallip. You see me? I used to sell chalice, you know? I know where I build chalice. <laughs> you get me? So I say, yo, at the end of the day, the, the, the journey for me started with just like on a mental health uh, mind state type of level because you know I come from a place where you don't know as I say you to go church. When I think them with church you church you have a whole heap of negativity. You know? you get me? But people don't really realize because like you end up being enemies of the world. You get me? Of the same world that you have to live in every day. You see me? So it's like me did really depend on a quest to become more friendly with the world in terms of uh, having more compassion for people and the fact that humanity have a history. So if you have one man who is a Nazi, it's because there has been a history of Nazism previous to him being born, or some history will lead up to that. So if you have compassion for people, it will open up history to you and it will open up your heart to the fact that, yo, we did have got through enough things before we found another earth. So rather than look on people as agents of the devil, you have to look for them as, as um, we are like symptoms, you know? We, we are living in a symptomatic type of situation where we play out in a regular human everyday life is just basically a symptom or a reaction to a really a go on based on history and what go on a spiritual realm. Is it me? Where the spirit of the ages are dealing, where the spirit of the races are dealing, where the spirit of um because everything we see manifests physically like people physical race. If there's a spiritual phenomenon behind it. So if if, if there's a yeah, so if there's a spiritual phenomena behind the race and how the race is manifested in our own unique physical ways, when you see things that happen within the African race, it must be something that happened upon the spiritual realm of cause it. You get me? So in in for for with using herb and embracing Rastafari was always um was always something with me I pursue. Like from the moment we stopped like 
Can we stop go church and then thing that when me are maybe like fifteen, sixteen, you know? And like me would have still go church. But at that get me the best experience. That is why we are in the church. That's was at a church service. So you know what I mean? And it that. was it was let me tell you what it was. It was the night when Kobe Bryant died. Mm. Right? And there was just a sadness over the city of Los Angeles. I'm gonna tell you, when someone's spirit is come from a big age group, someone like Kobe Bryant, where appeal to from old to young, everybody, that man have a big spirit. So when that spirit leaves the earth physical space. Them thing that will make earthquake shake straight. So who not believe in them thing, they're fine. You don't have to believe in them. You don't have to believe in them. Not. So me, me the day in Los Angeles and it did just sad because I was the same night as the Grammy, same way. And it it, it is sad. So another night, me and a couple of people end up with us say, yo, I could go Sunday service on a canary if they get me. And I watch the man deliver. It was him, Kirk Franklin, and Justin Bieber, and some other people. And the man them deliver some singing. Way. Trust me, if you love music and if if you're close to the Almighty, there's no way you can go around the music. Yeah. If you're close to Jack, you know, it could have be like a day and hear the high trees are singing and it's not moving. You get me? And and it could have come like a year burning spears are wheel out and it's not moving. You get me? It's like you feel that same African spirit of togetherness and people harmonizing and coming back into unison and them thing. So it's like people people are going forever abuse drugs and them thing there. And and them type of thing there. Until we you know, throw away the whole heap of resentment and know say, yo, if we are gonna go in a herb or in a anything, go in it out of love. And out of uh, a pers- pursuing a healthier mind state for yourself, you know that, that's why I got into her. That's why I got into her because you know coming into music, there's just enough negativity in the space where you have to navigate and you have to you have to still find a way how to be compassionate towards everyone, you know. Okay. Even even if even if someone even if someone is gonna say harsh things or whatever. And like, how else can someone do that if they're not tapping, you know? And like, me never, me never have the, like some people who have the the preparation, like even ones like the I do who, you know, very into the breathing part of the thing. Because remember, breath work, a serious thing. You see me? Um, body work, a serious thing. Like, and that's where you know. We are not taught how to breathe. We are not taught the important parts exactly, of life as children. Exactly. So how we're not how taught to eat. We're not taught the large amount of stretch. people are got tapping. Tapping. If if we not have help, and herb to me was a big help, you know, in 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 in, in even getting me into yoga and all of them other things. Right? You know what I mean? And consciousness on the earth is like herb for me was a gateway to that. Cause like my mind coming up in such a resentful, dark, crucifixional type of space. You get me? It's like your 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 hellfire judgment type of space. Yeah, it's like a self <laughs> like you know, self condemnation type of space because God obviously not condemning us. God give you breath every morning. You see me regardless. I see some man with a rapist wake up a man in time and a big sunlight that shine upon him same way. You get me? Big rain a fall and wake up and crap them and plant and them tree them and grow and them are, and them are wicked people. You get me? So if if Jack but set stick, it up stick up in. Stick up in. Right? What I like to remind myself and others as well is and we find that even as we evolve out of that space of, you know, Judeo-Christian judgment and condemnation, it still leaks back into our psyche 
especially when there are obvious things that you feel like this deserves judgment. It's a wickedness, right? And we forget also that we are here to have experiences as humans. And we can't look at any situation as good or bad. That type of polarity consciousness is what keeps us in that cycle of suffering. So if I look at what am I using my mind for? So as you start to dive deeper now into, you know, how herb can help to repair the errors of your mind and help to set new connections in your brain. Remember, you know, it is a homeostasis regulator. That means the purpose mm. of herb is to bring you back to your zero state, right? Mm. And so just how far are you away from your zero state that is going to really determine the kind of reaction you have to herb, right? Whether on a physiological level or on a psychological level. So that state of homeostasis, that state of balance in your mind, it is going to be difficult for you in that space. If you notice a man that is very high, and like steaming high, right? When something happens in the environment, the reaction time, you say, oh, it slowed down your reaction time. But really and truly, why are we being so reactive? Why everything is a startling, you know? It really yeah. allows us to slow time so we can really process the yeah. information that is toward us. Yes? yes? So if I have an experience that looks like a negative experience, down the line I might be able to dissect from that experience why I attracted it to myself. Because everyone is doing according to what their particular path is. Whatever you want to interpret it as. So the man who comes into this earth with karma that causes him to end up becoming a rapist. Down the line, he's going to have to interact with something that is going to prepare him for the balance that is necessary. Even or if that maybe, means somebody's maybe, going yeah, Or maybe him just so <laughs> ascended before. But maybe he of... was just... Maybe he was just such a was such a because when 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 powers are trying to descend, you know, remember them descend with a strong force. You get me? So a man use one lifetime to sink himself as far down in a consciousness as he need to go. You get me? So at the end of the day, oh me sleep it is your cycle. Yeah, it is yeah, the karmic cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so and when you forward in the earth, when you forward in the earth, you don't really know, you don't really what know, you don't remember nothing. You know, when you forward in the earth, you don't remember nothing. So, that no, For the that no, right. you would know a thing now, hold me up for a thing named free will. You get me? Where once you come in a Because when time in a some people talk about Christian and Rasta and anything that like when his majesty say yo defender of the faith is because the concept of Christ being within humanity, within the kingdom of man. I don't know you have the plant them, you know, you have the animal them, you have we, you have the angels, you have God okay. all the way up. As we, as we talk about these kinds of terms, it is very important to remember we are limited to the English language when we are discussing these concepts that are outside of business language. Yeah, English yeah, language. But, yeah but you have to look for members that we are artists and, and anyone who people can only learn to, people can only learn from we if they check the symbolism behind what we are saying because we are artists. And, 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 and at the end of the day, I am not anything but other than an artist. As artists, Jama, Karamics, artists, we have a responsibility to understand the context in which we speak. So this is why I know, as the feminine balance, we always draw back attention to the fact that people become emotionally triggered by words and it stops yeah. them from truly understanding because we have not even been taught how to listen. Yeah. So people are listening here, they want to talk. I, there are like 16 people trying to come in on this live right now who have their yeah. own opinion, use their own version of words to say things that might sound like they're different, no, but that man. might just no, be man. essentially the same. Them, I may use, okay. If you words them, I may I use like a while ago, and you say you have the plant, then, which is everything that the earth is from plant consciousness. You get me? You even have... But a word like, like the concept than a word like Christ. 
because you talk about Christ, yeah, you raise yeah, a yeah, yeah, but I mean, Christ, you can look on it however, like you can look on it however you want, look on it, like you can look on it however. <laughs>